Enough of that. Let's bring up your next comedian. Come on. Put your hands together. Let's go. Let's go. Come, just give me something. Something. Can we have a hot party? Yes! Hey, cool! Fred! Puffins! Coming out to the stage! Yes! Alright, great. Give it up! Yeah! Late this evening, I'm going to talk to you about affirmation. Affirmation, for those of you at home watching, you'll play along too. <laughs> affirmation is a technique of influence where I get you to go along slowly, one step at a time, until I get you to commit to something maybe you weren't ready to commit to. And if you want to read more about this, you can read Robert Calvini. He's, he writes a book called Influence Science and Practice. I read it 25 years ago in college. And I was a computer science major, and basically that was the best book I read. So that's your homework after this book. What's the name of the book? It's called Influence Science and Practice by Robert Caldini. C-I-A-L-D-I-N-I. -I. Really put it on your reading list. Okay. For those of you at home, too. Do um, I have any coffee drinkers here? Heavy coffee drinkers. Let's raise our hands. Raise our hands. Heavy coffee drinkers. That's okay to admit, because you know what? Scientists have figured out that drinking a lot of coffee is good for you. Contrary to what your doctors say, these are scientists that are in Italy and they study Italian men who drank seven or eight shots of espresso a day. I have an espresso machine at home and I drink seven or eight shots of espresso a day. You can probably talk from the energy level. Uh, but it's good for you. It, it cuts your, it cuts your uh, the blockages in your arteries, it makes your heart rate go lower, it, Keeps you on your toes, keeps you thinking, it's good for you. So, round of applause for the coffee drinkers, the heavy coffee drinkers that broke all the world. Let's go. Do I need yogurt eaters? You want to eat yogurt here? Alright. I am a yogurt eater. My license plate on my car says yogurt eater, kid you not. Okay? Here's why. A study found that mice, male mice, that were fed yogurt. Grew larger testicles. And they walked with what scientists describe as mouse spiders. Uh, scientists also found, this is in Scientific American, May 2012 issue, by the way. You should get that issue, it's a classic. Um, what about the female? The, uh, the, uh, the scientists also found this translated well to humans. The humans could, you know, grow larger testicles and apparently walk with mouse spiders. Anyone here talk to themselves? Let's raise our hands and you talk to yourself. You ever talk to yourself? All right. You, you, you might think that's kind of weird, right? Okay? It's not weird. People who talk to themselves are more confident, quicker on their feet, more able to deal with stress, different kinds of situations, because they've kind of gained them out for themselves. So, you talk to yourself, let's give yourself a round of applause for people who talk to themselves. Yay! Well, Joe's going to walk you to somewhere difficult. Anyone eat their boogers? <laughs> so, um, let's, okay, tell you what, everybody even at home, close your eyes, we don't want to see who eats their boogers, okay, everybody close their eyes, raise your hand if you eat your boogers. I'm not even looking, everybody, see, we have a lot of you, we have a lot of you, I'm, I'm very, I have a lot of you at home too. People who eat their boogers, healthier, they don't have any better teeth, I mean there are dentists who are trying to figure out what the magical formula of boogers are, okay. To make your teeth better, so you can have teeth products made from boogers. Uh, any concerned about getting HIV? Woo. Okay. <laughs> this is going to connect you. British scientists think that people who eat their boogers are more immune to catching HIV. It builds your immunity. So I think you should. This is something you should mix in. Now, like I said, I was going to walk you up here and have you affirm these things. Do I have a commitment from you to start eating your boogers? <clears throat> a little bit of commitment. Commitment from the people at home. That's great. <laughs> I uh, we walk through affirmation and convincing you things. Uh, I'd like you all to walk with mouse swagger, eat your yogurt, drink your coffee, talk to yourselves, eat your boogers. I'm Brad Hutchins. Yogurteater.com. Yeah.